Goldie Jean Hahn is an American actress. She rose to fame on the NBC sketch comedy program Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, before going on to receive the Academy Award and Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in Cactus Flower. Born, November 21, 1945, age 78 years, Washington, D.C., United States. Spouse, Bill Hudson, M. 1976-1982, Gus Triconis, M. 1969-1976. Children, Kate Hudson, Wyatt Russell, Oliver Hudson. Partner, Kurt Russell, 1983. Height, 1.68 meters. Parents, Laura Hahn, Edward Rutledge Hahn. Goldie Jean Hahn was born November 21, 1945 in Washington, D.C., to Laura Hahn, who owned a dance school, and Rhett Hahn, a band musician. She has one sister, entertainment publicist, Patty Hahn, a brother, Edward, died in infancy before her birth. She was raised in the Jewish religion. Her mother was Jewish and the daughter of Hungarian immigrants. Her father was Presbyterian. At the age of three, Goldie began taking ballet and tap dance lessons, and at the age of ten she danced in the chorus of the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo production of The Nutcracker. At the age of 19, she ran and instructed a ballet school, having dropped out of college, where she was majoring in drama. Before going into the film business, she worked as a professional dancer. Han made her feature film debut in the one and only, genuine, original family band, 1968, with a small role as a giggling dancer. Her first big role came in 1969, where she played opposite Walter Matthau and Ingrid Bergman in Cactus Flower, 1969, a role which earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. After the Oscar win her career took off and she followed with roles in successful comedies such as There's a Girl in My Soup, 1970, and Shampoo, 1975, and more dramatic roles in The Girl from Petrovka, 1974, and The Sugarland Express, 1974. In 1978, she starred alongside Chevy Chase in the box office hit, Foul Play, 1978. In 1980 she starred in another box office hit, Private Benjamin, 1980, where she also served as producer. During the 1980s she starred in hit movies such as Best Friends, 1982, Protocol, 1984, and Wildcats, 1986. In 1987, she appeared with her boyfriend Kurt Russell in Overboard, 1987 which became both a critical and box office disappointment. Her career slowed down after that until 1990, when she starred alongside Mel Gibson in Bird on a Wire, 1990. In 1992 she starred in the successful film, Death Becomes Her, 1992, with Meryl Streep and Bruce Willis, which was followed by another successful film House Sitter, 1992, which co-starred Steve Martin. In 1996 she played the role of an aging alcoholic actress in the comedy, The First Wife's Club, 1996, with Diane Keaton and Bette Midler, it became a critical and financial success. She also starred in the Woody Allen film Everyone Says I Love You, 1996, and The Out of Towners, 1999, which reunited her with Martin. In 2001 and 2002 she starred in Town and Country, 2001, with Warren Beatty, and the Banger Sisters, 2002, with Susan Sarandon. Goldie has been married twice. First to dancer, slash director Gus Triconis, from 1969 to 1973. In 1976, she married musician Bill Hudson and became a mother for the first time that year, when she gave birth to their son Oliver Hudson. In 1979, she had her second child with Hudson, daughter Kate Hudson. The marriage ended in divorce in 1980. Since 1983, she has been having a relationship with actor Kurt Russell. Their son Wyatt Russell was born in 1986. Goldie is also a de facto stepmother to Kurt's son Boston Russell. She has eight grandchildren. IMDb Mini Biography by Anna G. Family Spouses Bill Hudson, July 2, 1976, to March 19, 1982, divorced, two children. Gus Triconis, May 16, 1969, to June 22, 1976, divorced. 
Children. Oliver Hudson. Kate Hudson. Wyatt Russell. Roy Hahn Russell. Parents. Laura Hahn. Rudd Hahn. Relatives. Patty Hahn, sibling. Edward Hahn Jr., sibling. Bing Bellamy, grandchild. Ronnie Hudson Fujikawa, grandchild. Boone Joseph Russell, grandchild. Ryder Robinson, grandchild. Trademarks. Blonde hair. Bubbly personality. Blue eyes. Trivia. Has three children, son, Oliver Hudson, B. September 7, 1976, and daughter, Kate Hudson, B. April 19, 1979, with ex-husband Bill Hudson and son, Wyatt Russell, B. July 10, 1986, with boyfriend Kurt Russell. Actually, Goldie is her real name, she was named after her aunt. Her first entertainment gig was performing in The Nutcracker at age 11. She earned $1.50. Amy Schumer lured her out of self-imposed retirement to co-star in Snatched, 2017. 20th Century Fox originally did not want Han for the movie since she had not acted in 15 years, but Amy insisted and even threatened to leave the project if Han was not cast. Good Friends with Sally Field Has eight grandchildren, writer Russell Robinson, B. January 7, 2004, via daughter Kate Hudson and ex-son-in-law Chris Robinson, Wilder Brooks Hudson, B. August 23, 2007, Bodie Hahn Hudson, B. March 19, 2010, and Rio Laura Hudson, B. July 18, 2013, via son Oliver Hudson and daughter-in-law Aaron Bartlett, Bingham Hahn Bellamy, B. July 9, 2011, via Kate and Matthew Bellamy, Ronnie Rose Hudson Fujikawa, B. October 2, 2018, via Kate and Danny Fujikawa, Buddy Prine Russell, B. March 11, 2021, and Boone Joseph Russell, B. February 13, 2024, via son Wyatt Russell and daughter-in-law Meredith Hayner. She and longtime boyfriend Kurt Russell appeared together in five films. The One and Only, Genuine, Original Family Band, 1968, Swing Shift, 1984, Overboard, 1987, The Christmas Chronicles, 2018, and The Christmas Chronicles, Part 2, 2020. In January 1985, at age 39, she posed for the cover of Playboy. Her performance as Judy Benjamin in Private Benjamin, 1980, is ranked number 70 on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Movie Characters of All Time. Drives the present owners of her childhood home in Maryland crazy by suddenly appearing whenever she wants to. It is often incorrectly stated that she shortened her family name from Stuttelenjohn to Han. According to census documents, the surname of all of her direct ancestors up to and including her father is Han, Han, or Han, had such a traumatic natural birth with her son Oliver Hudson that she delivered her other children, Kate Hudson and Wyatt Russell, via elective caesarean sections. Received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6201, Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Has a de facto stepson, Boston Russell, B. February 16, 1980, with boyfriend Kurt Russell. Chosen by Empire Magazine as one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history, number 71. Gave commencement address at graduation for the class of 2002 at her alma mater, American University. Owns homes in Vancouver, Canada, the Pacific Palisades, CA, Palm Desert, CA, and Snowmass Village, CO. Aged 19 and employed as a dancer at the New York World's Fair, Han was spotted by a pimp who arranged her to meet with 55-year-old cartoonist Al Cap in his Manhattan apartment for what she thought was an audition for a forthcoming TV series. Dressed in loungewear, Cap exposed himself during the meeting and tried to come on to her. After his advances were rejected, he told Han she would never get anywhere in show business and that she should return home and marry a Jewish dentist. Richard Donner pursued her for the role of Eve Teschmacher in Superman, 1978, but her $2 million salary demand was deemed unreasonable by studio executives who ultimately settled for lesser-known actress Valerie Perrine. It has often been reported that her father, Rhett Hahn, a.k.a. Edward Rutledge Hahn, was a direct descendant of Edward Rutledge, 1749-1800, the youngest person to sign the Declaration of Independence in 1776. 
However, genealogical research has shown that Hans Rutledge line leads back to a man named Joseph Rutledge, 1744-1814. Is an accomplished ballet dancer. Immediately after the success of the First Wives Club, 1996, she, Bette Midler and Diane Keaton were going to make another film together called Avon Ladies of the Amazon. The premise was about women who sell beauty products in the jungle. The film was never made. In 2015, the trio planned to star in a film for Netflix called Divination as members of a once popular singing group forced to reconnect after their volatile split and 30 year estrangement, but that film also was never made. Her father had German and English ancestry, while her maternal grandparents were Hungarian Jewish immigrants. Dating Kurt Russell since February 14, 1983, Valentine's Day, 1983. She Kurt Russell are Hollywood's longest-lasting unmarried couple. She describes herself as a Jubu, Jewish Buddhist. Considers her role as Lou Jean Poplin in The Sugarland Express, 1974, to be her finest work on screen. She was born in Washington, D.C., and grew up in its suburb, Tacoma Park, Maryland. First woman to be honored by the American Museum of the Moving Image. On August 9, 2020, she was honored with a day of her filmography during the Turner Classic movie Summer Under the Stars. Started Cosmic Entertainment with Kurt Russell, Kate Hudson, and Oliver Hudson in 2003. Returned to work eight months after giving birth to her daughter Kate Hudson to begin filming Private Benjamin, 1980. In 1970, she sued Easy Card Company and Hole in the Wall for $1.5 million contending that 10,000 posters of her eating a potato chip constituted an invasion of privacy. The lawsuit said the posters, with the caption, Granny Who, embarrassed and humiliated her and prevented her from endorsing other products because the poster advertised Granny Goose potato chips. She also said the posters interfered with her career because she had left the TV series Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, 1967, to become a serious actress. She won just $3,000 in damages and an agreement from the poster companies to stop printing the picture in a stipulated superior court judgment. Planned to direct and star with Kurt Russell in Ashes to Ashes, a comedy about a woman who goes to India and loses her ex-husband's ashes. Hahn wrote the script with Jeremy Pixer, co-writer of Bullworth, 1998. The project fell into development limbo for a number of years and was re-announced at Cannes in 2007 with production scheduled to begin in the fall, but was put on hold yet again, published her autobiography A Lotus Grows in the Mud in 2005. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, 1967, castmate Judy Karn reportedly was so jealous of Han that it caused her to start using heroin. Lit with Swedish actor Bruno Wenzel, from 1973 to 1975. Internet references that Han was married to Wenzel are false, as she was still legally wed to Gus Triconis throughout that period and did not even file for divorce until she and Bill Hudson got engaged. Plays a former rock star groupie in The Banger Sisters, 2002. Her daughter, Kate Hudson, plays a young rock star groupie in Almost Famous, 2000. Founder of the Bright Light Foundation for Children. Recorded and released a self-titled solo pop country LP for Warner Brothers in 1972 with the production help of Dolly Parton and Buck Owens. One single was released, a cover of the bluegrass classic Uncle Pen, with the flip side song Butterfly, but it failed to chart. Awarded honorary degree from Loyola Marymount University after delivering 2004 commencement address there, turned down The Day of the Locust, 1975, Family Plot, 1976, Pretty Baby, 1978, Kramer vs. Kramer, 1979, The Main Event, 1979, Atlantic City, 1980, Making Love, 1982, and Big Business, 1988. Discovered by talent agent Bud Simon while dancing in the chorus line on Andy Griffith's Uptown Downton TV special. Returned to work nine months after giving birth to her son Wyatt Russell to begin filming Overboard, 1987. Daughter of Rhett Hahn and Laura Hahn. Biography in Who's Who in Comedy by Ronald L. Smith, pages 209 to 210. New York, Facts on File, 1992. ISBN 081 602 3387. Sister of Patty Hahn. They had an older brother, 
Edward Rutledge Hahn, Jr., February 10, 1937, to March 10, 1937, who died of sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS. Ex-sister-in-law of Gina Triconis, Brett Hudson, and Mark Hudson. She is a devout Buddhist and introduced His Holiness the Dalai Lama, at the tribute to the Dalai Lama concert at Vancouver's Orpheum Theater in April 2004. Received the worst press of her career in the wake of rumors about her behind-the-scenes machinations on Swing Shift, 1984, with director Jonathan Demme accusing Han of recutting the film to play up her character at the expense of impressive supporting player Christine Lottie. Was replaced by Shelley Long as Carolyn in Dr. T and the Women, 2000. In 2003, she founded the Goldie Hawn Foundation and its Mind UP program that helps children regulate their emotions and manage stress. Originally cast as Hilary Altman in This Is Where I Leave You, 2014, but dropped out when filming was delayed and was replaced by Jane Fonda. Tried out for Romeo and Juliet, 1968, but her audition was a disaster. Returned to work 13 months after giving birth to her son Oliver Hudson, to begin filming Foul Play, 1978. Dated crooner Spiro Venduras, actor Mark Goddard, stuntman Ted Grossman, Italian actor Franco Nero, French actor Yves Renier, and Moroccan entrepreneur Victor Dre. On Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, 2009, in 2017, Han Quasi confirmed old reports of an affair with Warren Beatty during the filming of Dollar, 1971. She was also linked to newsman Charles Glass and Pakistani politician Imran Khan during rumored separations from Russell in the early 2000s. Had public squabble with Demi Moore in 1991. Bowed out from the Viagra Diaries, a half-hour HBO pilot based on a book by Barbara Rose. In the made-for-TV movie Carolina Moon, 2007, Jacqueline Bissett played the mother of Han's real-life son Oliver Hudson. By coincidence, Jackie and Goldie both had long-term relationships with Victor Dre. Has Czech and Polish ancestry. Is one of 24 actresses to have won an Academy Award for their performance in a comedy, hers being for Cactus Flower, 1969. The others, in chronological order, are Claudette Colbert, it Happened One Night, 1934, Loretta Young, The Farmer's Daughter, 1947, Josephine Hull, Harvey, 1950, Audrey Hepburn, Roman Holiday, 1953, Goldie Hawn, Cactus Flower, 1969, Glenda Jackson, A Touch of Class, 1973, Lee Grant, Shampoo, 1975, Diane Keaton, Annie Hall, 1977, Maggie Smith, California Suite, 1978, Mary Steenburgen, Melvin and Howard, 1980, Jessica Lange, Tootsie, 1982, Olympia Dukakis, Moonstruck, 1987, Cher, Moonstruck, 1987, Jessica Tandy, Driving Miss Daisy, 1989, Mercedes Roll, The Fisher King, 1991, Marissa Tomei, My Cousin Vinny, 1992, Diane Wiest, Bullets Over Broadway, 1994, Mira Servino, Mighty Aphrodite, 1995, Francis. McDormand, Fargo, 1996, Helen Hunt, As Good As It Gets, 1997, Judy Dench, Shakespeare in Love, 1998, Gwyneth Paltrow, Shakespeare in Love, 1998, Penelope Cruz, Vicky Cristina Barcelona, 2008, Jennifer Lawrence, Silver Linings Playbook, 2012, and Emma Stone. Divorced, she lives with actor Kurt Russell, since 1982. Born at 9.20 a.m. EST. Aunt of David Bursneaks and Michael McKenna. Also home in Aspen, Colorado. Lives in Malibu. Quotes. In 1977, monogamy is impossible these days, for both sexes. I don't know anyone who's faithful or wants to be. Men are much simpler mechanisms than women. Nothing changes them. Even when they have a midlife crisis, they do it in a mindless way. That's why I think we should let men go off and have affairs and drive fast cars and dream of being virile and we should run the world. We can't hold on to our youth, but what you can hang on to is all the things we've been told a zillion times. You have to find the light in your life that you had when you were a little girl or little guy that made you happy. Oh, I don't think of myself as a Buddhist. I was born Jewish, and consider that my religion. 
A rested face is a beautiful face. However you can, find your place of rest and peace. Peter Sellers was great to work with. A lovely man. A little bit crazy in that he, you know, as I say, it was hard. It was sort of balancing a very delicate spirit on a needle, you know, because you never know where he was going. But I gave him a birthday party once, and he said to me, you know, Goldie, I'll never have a home like this. I'll never have a house like this, and I would like a piece of me in your home. And he sent me a French armoire, and I still have it. That was after he ate his birthday candle, which is a whole other problem. On Peter Sellers, he was completely in his moment, in his truth, at all times there was never a break. He was able to witness how funny he was, and yet not have any control over his ability to inability to stop laughing at himself. We would have to break for lunch sometimes, because we couldn't bring him back. But, you know, you couldn't get a knife in between who he was playing and his comedy and his truth. It was all there together, which is what made him a genius. It's wonderful to move forward technologically, but we cannot forget that we are human beings who thrive on relationships, who thrive on interconnectivity, who thrive on sharing your feelings and emotions. I noted that people are happy here in India. When I went back home, people had everything in the materialistic sense and were surrounded with abundance, but they were not happy. Society, honestly, hasn't tempted me to do very much. I am compelled to continuously see the bright side. It is in my DNA. My kids look at me and say, Mom, you're so happy. And I do feel happy. I feel joyful inside. I can't explain it. Why she and Kurt Russell aren't married, we've both been married. I've been married twice, it didn't work. He was married once, that didn't work either. And, you know, we were at a time when we had kids and thought, well, you know, what actually would it do to get married? I like being independent. I like being his girlfriend. I like that notion. I think it's sexy, and I do think that it's a way of saying, you know what, I don't own you, and there's no paper that says that. My union with you is in my heart and it's in my promises, you know, and that's the best you can do. Why she missed the Oscar ceremony when she won her Academy Award, we were just beginning to film here, there's a girl in my soup, 1970, in England, and it was impossible for me to leave. It would have set them back a full week. I suppose I could have stomped out and said I was going, but I couldn't do that. They'd been waiting and waiting to get started, and I would have felt bad about delaying them longer. So it was a decision we all shared. I've been practicing modalities of Eastern philosophy since about 1972. What I've learned through my meditation is a sense of equanimity, a sense of all things being equal. I have a light personality and a deep thinking brain. Those are two very different things. Even during the days when I could have gotten myself into some fine trouble, I was a good girl. I was a little worker bee. I was dancing and working from the age of 18. I did dance in rock clubs, but I made money at it. I treated it like a job and just went home. It's so hilarious that I embodied the whole idea of this free spirit, laughing girl, but I was really very conservative. Observation, 1979 Hollywood is the cruelest place on earth. Values are incredibly bad. People are too easy. Money is too easy. People are vicious. They smile at you and stab you in the back. You can't confide in anyone. And the most successful people never grow. Their egos are weird. That's why we never go to Hollywood parties. People are phony and stilted. They stare at each other and go off with a different person every night. It's disgusting. And people are so cold. They never make a real, deep commitment to each other. The Russians are the most hospitable people in the world, and they would feed you even if they had to go hungry themselves. I'm a woman who was raised to believe that you are not complete unless you have a man. Well, in some ways it's true. I am a feminist to a point but I'm not going to deny the fact that I love to be with men. It took a few years for anyone in Hollywood to honor my title as producer. They all shied away from it, thinking I was just a woman who wanted control. Dot. All I ever wanted to do was exercise a certain level of power, which I had earned. 
I wasn't someone who just appeared on the scene and demanded a producer's credit. If you don't like yourself, then you're really gonna be angry with people when they say they love you. So it's best you love yourself first, so then you can honor their love. Marriage ends up being a business deal, because at the end of a marriage, no matter how long or short it is, somebody owes somebody money. And I was on the short end of the stick on that one. So I look at that and I thought, well this is ridiculous. This kind of thing when you're together two, three, four, even five years it's an inappropriate amount of money you have to pay. It's ridiculous to base your relationship on money. My life is not dictated by outside perception. It's only dictated by the things I choose to do. Comment on Dating Culture, 2017, I like to be pursued. I like that relationship. Women are now basically pursuing men. My career has been a very odd one. It's never been a career about romance, or playing the girl dependent on the man. I always played certain characters, kooky, quirky, or strange. So I'm lucky that way. Looking back on who that person was, it's odd, because I'm not like that anymore. But I identify with her very much, because that's who I was. In 1976, on carrying Bill Hudson's child while still legally wed to Gus Triconis, I am not having this baby in a closet. The great Doris Day left us and took a piece of the sun with her. She brightened our lives and lived out her life with dignity. May she rest peacefully. Salaries the Out-of-Towners, 1999, $5 million. Death Becomes Her, 1992, $3 million, plus percent of gross. Deceived, 1991, $3,500,000, plus percent of gross. Wildcats, 1986, $3 million, plus percent of gross. Protocol, 1984, $3 million, plus percent of gross. Best Friends, 1982, $2,500,000, plus percent of gross. Seems Like Old Times, 1980, $1,000,000, plus percent of gross. Private Benjamin, 1980, $1,000,000, plus percent of gross. The Duchess and the Dirtwater Fox, 1976, $375,000, plus 7.5% of profits. Shampoo, 1975, $375,000, plus 5% of profits. The Girl from Petrovka, 1975, $350,000, plus 10% of profits. The Sugarland Express, 1974, $300,000, plus 10% of profits. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, 1967, $1,000 per week.